Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 1999 Honda V, Land Rover Defender 90, factory county station wagon, uh, TD5. Finished in Epsom green with a white roof and the usual uh, techno cloth interior, and this one's in seven seater spec. Now this one's only done uh, 86,000 miles, and we think that's, uh, that's correct. Um, the same owner has had it for the past 10 years, originally registered to his company. He's the, uh, the managing director of the company. Um, and then for accounting reasons, he uh, transferred it to his own name last year. But uh, basically it's been really in the same hands for the past, uh, since, since 2006. Um, and it's in really, really good shape. Uh, fitted, and we think originally fitted uh, as, as dealer extras when it was supplied new by HR Owen, with um, full-length side steps, chrome front A-bar with uh, auxiliary spot lamps. Uh, rear work light and full checker plate kit on the wing tops, modesty covers and uh, and rear quarters. Um, also fitted with mud flaps all round. Uh, what else do we have? Obviously inside, being a county station wagon, it's got all the proper CSW trim. Um, four individual seats in the back with seat belts. It's also got adjustable tow pack and as we said mud flaps all round. Uh, rear work light. There is a radio CD fitted which um, does light up, but I can't seem to turn it on, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's uh, actually not connected. Um, although power, you know, the, the light seems to get to it when you turn the lights on, so I don't know <laughs> if I'm pressing the wrong button or what it is, but um, it's, uh, it's really rather good. Right, let's go and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, not a lot of electrolytic reaction on it. Um, which is unusual for one of these at this age. The uh, screen blocks have lost a bit of their paint from uh, reaction and stuff, but that's, uh, that's very normal. Around the front end, this all looks good here on the bonnet top and everything. It's all quite nice. It's one or two minor marks just here and there. There is a, it's obviously uh, had a bit of an argument with something or other, because there's a slight sort of bit of waviness just here on the bottom of the near side front wing and the front panel here, but it's, uh, it's not excessive and um, but it is there. I suspect the bumper's been pushed back into it at some point. Looks like the bumper might have been straightened at some point. Don't know why I didn't fit a new one. Only 30 quid. Uh, although they have done a good job of straightening it. Um, but yeah, it's it's a slightly sort of um, pushed in just there. But up here it's all good. This is all fine. Uh, no dents in the front corner or anything. And down the sides she looks really, really beautifully straight. Very good indeed. Um, Scuttle corners are excellent on both sides, no issues at all there. Um, a post is all good. Roof is nice, the roof has just lost a little bit of its paint just in front of the sunroof just up there, but that's about it. Near side door, tiny bit of electrolytic reaction just starting down here on the back edge of the door. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, inside, all the proper county station wagon trim is all still there. The window trims, full headlining, which is in good order. Uh, all the carpets are there as well, which is unusual, including the, excuse me, the front carpet mats. Normally they uh, they rot out, um, but they're all there. Seats are all in very good shape. There is a small nick just in the very bottom edge of the uh, of the driver's seat backrest, but again, that's uh, that's very common once they've done about 60,000 miles. Um, so all the carpets are all there. New side door frame feels good. Yep, no problems there at all. Um, near side rear wing, apart from a tiny bit of reaction just there, it's all good. The top top trims are all nice. All looks good under there. Chassis still got its labels on it actually. Um, Around the tail end, there is some electrolytic reaction on the tailgate. The tailgate is getting a bit tired, it's fair to say, as uh, as you'd expect. It is um, 16 years old now. There's a bit of reaction up here, and the frame isn't um, isn't wonderful. And the base of the frame down here, it's hold, and they're getting near here. So it's okay for the minute, but um, you probably have to uh, either get that replaced or repaired in a couple of years, I would have thought. Uh, and the spare wheel is just starting to rattle very slightly, which normally means the skin is um, is flexing. In the back here, it's all good. Uh, it's also got some extra sort of storage bags which um, come with it. Um, what's in the back? Actually, another look. Nothing in there. 
Uh, nothing in them, but, um, but they are there and they're quite useful. Um, all the seats are in good shape in the back. Possibly had a bit of paintwork here as this is sort of faded away unless it's just been polished so much it's uh, it's come away but I can't really see any other paintwork on the vehicle to be honest. Um, reaction around here a little bit. Looking down the offside, very very straight actually, again very straight and dent free. There's a slight parking dink in the barrel side on the driver's door but that's about it. A um, couple of spots of reaction around here which is say the normal spot it's much less than most of them at this sort of age. Um, another bit just there. A couple of chips just here on the eyebrow. Driver's door, so there's a slight depression just there. That's just a mark. And that's a slightly dull bit there. Maybe it just needs, needs another polish. Uh, another tiny parking dink just there. Bit of reaction just there. Going along it, as I say, scuttle corners, first class on both sides, offside front wing, first class. Looking in here, again, the seats are in good shape. Um, as I say, there's a tiny nick just in the backrest just there on the driver's seat. Um, but as I say, that's very normal on them. It's a bit stained, the driver's seat uh, base. Um, as I say, all the carpets are all in place. Uh, driver's door, bottom frame. Is okay. Didn't feel any nasties there at all. Yeah. There we have it really. Um, it's unusual to find one of these with such a low mileage. One of these is absolutely nothing, especially at its age, and it is a genuine counter station wagon. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice, and I drove it uh, 50 miles yesterday down the motorway. Drove really really well. No problems at all. Uh, oh, the, the mirror arm has lost a bit of its um, coating as well. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world. Obviously, the cost. That's about it.